Sweetened dessert bars, they're all natural and gluten-free. They taste really good, which is hard to find sometimes in a gluten-free uh, market. In addition, they're only 170 calories per serving. So it's really something that is delicious that you can indulge in every day. The original recipe was my grandmother's. Uh, she made it when we were a kid all the time, loved it so much uh, that I got the recipe from her and built the rest of the flavors off of it. I think it's, uh, it's very, very good and she would really like what we've done with it. Well today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make for you a butterscotch sauce. This butterscotch sauce is made with all natural ingredients and that you can make in your home. So to start the butterscotch sauce, uh, we put four tablespoons of unsalted butter in a pan, melt it, and the next step is to take a half a cup of brown sugar. Uh, you mix that with the butter until it kind of looks like wet sand. The next step is to put in a half a cup of our uh, heavy cream. I'm going to mix that thoroughly. We're also going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt. Then you're going to put this mixture back on the stove for about three minutes. Uh, if you boil it a little longer, it'll be a thicker butterscotch sauce, a little less thinner butterscotch sauce. So once you've boiled it down to a, a thick sauce, the last step is to put in uh, one teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. And you can up the vanilla extract or the, or the salt, uh, depending on your preference of what you want your butterscotch to taste like. So one of the things that you can do with it is uh, drizzle it over cinnamon ice cream, uh, and on the side put a Hank dessert bar in our butterscotch, peanut, and cinnamon flavor. For the sugar and spice flavor, or any of our other variations, visit our Hank dessert bar store on artisan.com.